to our fifth uh, annual scholarship presentation. First, we have had a, a, a raffle on our booze basket, and so I'm going to ask um, Linda, Linda Rudiger, to come up here and draw a ticket. We've had a really good response to our basket, and uh, we had a lot of tickets in there. So, did the Tanner stay? Ah, Walter and Ann Tanner. Oh. And we will deliver it to them because it's very, very heavy. I am Judy Studebaker, President of the Board of Directors of the Regency Oak Scholarship Fund, Inc., a 501c3 corporation. The first three years, we had a wonderful presentation, ceremony, and reception in here. Unfortunately, last year, because of COVID-19, that was not possible. We were severely limited to a very few people in the room at one time, so the presentations to the recipients were taped and shown on Channel 732 for the residents. This year, we are still somewhat limited on outside guests, so family and friends of the recipients are not able to be present. The ceremony will be taped and shown on YouTube. The page will be provided to each recipient along with a still picture. The link will be available from Tiffany Rivers Monday or Tuesday. Thank you to all the residents for the generous support we have received this year. We are also grateful to Health Peak, our owner, and LCS, our manager, for their support. Health Peak and LCS have given us $5,000 this year. I want to recognize uh, the the board members. If you're here, if you could please stand up, although Bobby Belcher will probably just want to wave her arm. Bobby Belcher, <laughs> Robert Colachico, Johanna Gusick, Don Infante. This is hard standing up here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt McKenzie, Linda Rudiger, Nelson Toll, Lou Weiss Logal, who I don't think is here, and Mike White. A big thank you to Lorraine Matthews for the music, Johanna Gussick and Ginger Horton for arranging today's presentation and preparing the decorations and programs. And thank you to Bobby Belcher for the beautiful certificates. Bobby will be filming the presentations and Nelson Toll and Terry Werner will be taking the still photos which each recipient can take home. This is our fifth year presenting scholarships based on merit and need to our Regency Oaks Associates. We received 13 applications this year and are awarding 13 scholarships, ranging from $1,000 to $5,000 for a total of $56,100. In 2017 and 2018, we were able to present a $1,000 check to each, each recipient. In 2019, we were able to grant a total of $39,000 ranging from 1,000 to 4,000. In 2020, we were able to grant 21 scholarships, ranging from 1,000 to 5,000, for a total of 62,400. However, we, you can tell we had many graduates last year, and our new, many of our new ser servers are juniors in high school. So uh, we are hoping for a really bumper crop next year and for more scholarships awarded. Each recipient of a scholarship must be a current associate of Regency Oaks. Scholarships are considered on a case-by-case -case basis and are not all the same amount. The criteria considered by the Regency Oaks Scholarship Fund Evaluation Committee included, but were not limited to, the evaluation of immediate past transcripts of grades, supervisor evaluation, assessment of essay, and community involvement, family history, and career goals estimated cost of tuition, books, fees, and in other costs associated with the next school year and length of employment at Regency Oaks. Decisions on the award amounts were made by the Evaluation Committee and approved by the Board. Awardees are expected to maintain contact with their assigned scholarship board member mentor, maintain at least a 2.5 GPA, and work toward obtaining the appropriate degree and or certification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
first name. Johanna Gussick will tell a little bit about each recipient and I will present the certificate and check to each one. Amy Iorio. This is Amy Iorio's third scholarship from the scholarship fund. She is working as a certified nursing assistant in innovative home services and a full-time student at the University of South Florida. This summer, she will finish an internship in information technology. In fall, she will start her graduate degree in project management, after which Amy plans to get a software quality assurance certification. Brandon Lashbrook. Brandon Lashbrook was has worked in the dining services for four years. He is a junior at Florida State University, aiming for a bachelor degree in meteorology, analyzing severe weather such as supercell thunderstorms and hurricanes captured Brandon's attention at an early age. When he completes his degree, his goal is to work for the National Weather Service or the National Hurricane Center or National Oceanic and uh, Atmospheric Association. Clarissa Binzardi. Clarissa is a six-year employee in dining services. She received her fifth scholarship from Regency Oaks Fund. She graduated debt-free from the University of South Florida in December. Her bachelor's degree is in health science and nutrition. And now she is enrolled in NOVA, Southeastern University Doctorate Program of Occupational Therapy. She has been paying all of her expenses by working many jobs, doing classwork, and still finding time for a soccer and softball league. <laughs> Erica Morales. Erica has been with Regency Oaks for 19 years. She started as a server in the South, moved to the laundry. Oh, she's not here? Okay. Uh, then she was a housekeeper manager in Health Center. She has been staffing a coordinator for the last 13 years in the Health Center. She schedules nurses and nursing assistants for skilled nursing and for the ALF. Erica combines her full-time job with studying business administration at St. Petersburg College. This will be her fourth scholarship from the fund. Kevin Costello, Kevin Costello could not be here because he wants to work in NASCAR and he is working in Indianapolis at the Raceway. <laughs> this will be Kevin's fifth scholarship. He has been with Regency Oaks for six years in the dining service. Immediately after graduating from Florida State University in business management and marketing, he took an internship with Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the summer. He will be working operations, helping make their racetrack and their golf course the best it can be. And at the same time, he is enrolled in FSU's master degree program in sports management. Larissa Fetterman is ill today. Larissa worked as a tavern server before going to the health center as a CNA. She is a senior at the University of South Florida in St. Petersburg in biomedical sciences. Along with all the difficulties of the COVID period time, Larissa had to step in and help out at her father's business. 
she created a fundraising program in addition to all of this where she distributed 50 meals and a care packet to a St. Petersburg homeless at Christmas time. Pedro Caramayo. All right, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro has worked for Regency Oaks for three years in the tavern. He is now uh, also going to the National Air Aviation Academy in Clearwater. It is a 21-month program costing $57,000. So this scholarship will be very helpful to him. He will be learning engine electrical systems, aircraft coverings, power plants, landing gear, and all the programs toward the aviation maintenance. When completed, Pedro hopes that he will work for a major airline or with a SpaceX program. And I'm sorry, I skipped Hunter Forster. <laughs> Hunter is a five-year veteran of the dining services and a full-time 3.6-point grade average student at Palm Beach Atlantic University. He is studying cinema arts. Finishing his junior year, Hunter has produced many short films. He produces a weekly comedy show known as Monday Night Live, as well as producing videos for the university. Two of his films have been aired on ESPN. Penelope Navarro is in Orlando. She has a sister graduating there today. Penelope works scheduling in the maintenance department and some evenings in the tavern. While attending the University of South Florida for her fourth year, working toward a degree in special education, she is finishing her first internship teaching second graders. Next, she will be interning two days a week with exceptional students, and once a week with English learning students. Precious Peter Inyabine. Precious's mom was a nurse in Africa and took her with her when she went to see patients. That was when Precious became interested in medicine. She was injured when she was five years old. That resulted in three surgeries to her leg. The last one was in the United States. She was so impressed with the help the orthopedic doctors gave her that she knew she wanted to be a doctor so she could help others. She will start her first year at Florida State University in biochemistry. Samantha Sira. Yes, Sam. <laughs> Samantha is a server in the tavern who will be starting at St. Petersburg College to study nursing. When she was 15 years old, Sam and her family came to the United States from Venezuela, where her father was a professor and her mother was in real estate. At Countryside High School, she played the flute in the concert and marching band. She now teaches music to young people at Sun State or Crest Oak orchestral program in Tampa, but nursing is her real passion. Viridiana Lopez Lugo. Viddy in, is in dining services, and this is, she's a third year student <coughs> at the University of Florida, where she also has a job as orientation coordinator helping first-year students and first-generation students. She is secretary of the Hispanic Student Association and was inducted into Alpha Zeta, an honorary professional society for students. Zuri Tucker. Zuri plans to be an audiologist due to her own hearing and ear problems. 
She chose to go to the University of Florida that has a program from undergraduate to major to graduate program in audiology. Zuri has volunteered for programs at Morton Plant Hospital and Brooker Creek Elementary School. During the COVID lockdown, she recorded science videos at the Clearwater Library for their YouTube page. Because of her volunteer work, she received a, certifi a certificate of special congressional recognition for service to the community. Erica Morales. Erica has been with Regency Oaks for 19 years. She started as a server in the South and then moved to the laundry and then became housekeeping manager in the health center. She has been staffing coordinator for the last 13 years in the health center. She schedules nurses and nursing assistants for skilled nursing and for ALF. Erica combines her full-time job with studying business administration at St. Petersburg College. This will be her fourth scholarship from the fund. Now let's have a rousing round of applause for all of these people, special people. We are looking forward to another great 2021-2022 year, and if all goes well, we can have a wonderful open presentation and reception next year. Everyone be well and be safe. Thank you all for coming.